Welcome back to the Science Labs at the Nature Museum. My name is Rebecca, and today we have a critter connection with Kennecott the box turtle. Have you ever wondered why box turtles are called box turtles? It's because they can close their shell up entirely, just like how you close a box. Box turtles like Kennecott can tuck their head, arms, and legs entirely inside of their shell. Then the bottom of their shell, called the plastron, has a hinge that goes right across the middle. They're able to move that hinge, just like how you open and close a door, to close the bottom of their shell up so that nothing can get inside. What do you think a box turtle shell is made of? Box turtle shells are actually made of their bones. Their ribs are very wide and flat and fused together. You can see down the middle of their back, the ridge of their spine. On top of their ribs, their shell is covered in a layer of keratin, which is the same stuff your hair and fingernails are made of. If you feel your fingernails, you'll feel that it's hard and maybe even a little bit flexible. This helps strengthen the turtle shell and also is what gives it their color and pattern. Where do you think Kennecott lives? If we take a close look at his feet, we can figure it out. He doesn't have webbed feet like an aquatic turtle that swims around. Instead, he has very long claws. These claws are good for digging. What do you think he likes to dig for? Well, he'll dig for two reasons. One is to make a nice burrow to hide in or to sleep in. And he'll also dig up his food. What do you think Kennecott likes to eat? It might surprise you, but you could like some of the same foods as Kennecott. He's an omnivore, which means he eats meat and plants and fruit. Today, we're feeding Kennecott some strawberries, bananas, blackberries, lettuce, blueberries, and apples. He'll also get tasty worms to eat. What colors and patterns do you notice on Kennecott? I notice that he has lots of bright orange and yellow dots, along with some darker patches all over his shell and his skin. These colors and patterns help him to blend in in a place like a forest. As the light scatters through the leaves of a tree, it makes lots of different shadows on the ground. Kennecott's colors and patterns resemble these shadows, so it helps him hide from predators. Thank you so much for joining us for our Critter Connection with Kennecott. We hope you enjoyed learning about box turtles and their adaptations. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. See you next time.